What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to Family and Fit, where we talk fitness and how to integrate it in your busy lifestyle. So, I'm five days out from this competition. I haven't really checked in with you guys, and, you know, I definitely need to do it. I want to document this process way more than I already have. Uh, I've really slacked on it. I mean, I did good on the physique, like, transformation type of videos, and I've been posting them every week on a Wednesday. So, make sure you check those videos out. But I kind of wanted to take you guys through what I'm doing this last week, and I also just wanted to document this for my own processes and so that way if I do this next year I can go back and watch on these videos and see exactly what I did because I know I'm not going to remember next year because I can barely remember yesterday dude like much less next year so five days out not really ready uh, hit that cellular button so you can see all these videos I'm about to post all throughout this week uh, or the yeah this week and this next upcoming week for the show and whatnot the Christian Guzman Alpha Elite Summer Shredding show you know what I'm saying yeah but just want to take you all a quick rundown of what I got going on with my diet. Uh, essentially, I ha am going keto for like three days. And when I, when I say keto, I just mean that basically I'm going to pretty much consume nothing but protein and fat. And uh, pretty much taking out all carbs out of my diet because I want to be as depleted in carbs as I potentially can. That way, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I can carb load, which Saturday is not going to be a full day because that's competition day. Today is Tuesday. Just so you have some context of what day and what's going on in life because I don't know when this video exactly is going to go up. Hopefully I can get it out today. Probably won't happen though. But hey, and my summer shredding video should come out tomorrow I believe. Uh, last week I didn't do one and it's actually the first one I haven't done since it's like whole entire prep. Which, you know, I was basically just slack. And I can make it sound good and just say, hey, I, I didn't post it because I wanted to make it suspenseful this last one. But I'd be lying. My lunch for the past like month. Two months, actually the whole entire prep almost, has been lunch meat sandwiches. And the way I was going about it is I was putting a whole entire packet of meat, like this whole entire packet, on one sandwich with low-carb bread, or low-calorie bread, however you want to call it, 70 calories per two slices. This meat here, which is 240 calories per packet, so roughly about 310 calories, something like that, uh, per sandwich. Towards the end, like this past month or so, I've taken this uh, lunch meat and I've made it into two sandwiches and that's kind of how my lunches have been every single day for the past month and now I'm even tuning things down a little bit further and I'm taking it down to this packet of lunch meat which tastes a little bit better it's a, a hickory smoke or mesquite smoked uh, turkey which it's pretty decent pretty solid I like to eat ham a lot quite a bit actually just the flavor of it I don't the turkey and like roast beef, especially the roast beef, the texture of it, don't really care for it. But this here is, uh, what, like 360 calories, I believe. Six servings at 50 calories. Uh, it's got 10 calories of fat, so which is one gram of fat, two grams of carb. Now, some people will uh, track just their macros, but I generally don't do that. What I do is I just track my calories and then I whenever I'm trying to get a certain source of uh, macronutrients then I just consider a food all those calories being from that macronutrient so say for instance if I was eating peanut butter I would consider the, that to be all like fat calories now when I'm tracking my, my fitness pal I let it track it how it tracks it and so I do actually track it kind of uh, with throughout the app but uh, I, I really don't care as much about that I, I care more about overall just intuitively balancing out my diet so uh, since I'm going to the keto thing and I'm doing that thing uh, this is all I'm eating for the next three days is this pack of lunch meat for lunch no bread at all and then So, as you can see, I'm making some eggs here. I'm eating four eggs. Now, I'm going to kind of run this whole entire vlog process because uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what my last meal of the day is going to be. And it's going to be four more eggs. So, I'm eating a total of eight eggs, that packet of lunch meat, and that's pretty much all I'm eating all throughout these next three days. And when I say the next three days, I don't mean next three days. I meant yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Maybe Thursday. I don't know. I'll probably eat. I probably won't start carb loading until like later Thursday, maybe like noon. Maybe I won't even consume my first meal till noon, and that's when I'll start carb loading. And I'm assuming that I'm probably going to carb load pretty high, but then again, I might be pretty sensitive to carbs. So that first day of carb loading is when I'm going to really be able to tell uh, how 
I'm going to be consuming these carbs, or not how I'm going to be consuming them, but my how my body is going to absorb the carbs and how they're going to make me like pumped and whatnot and make me feel full and all that. So it's going to be a lot on intuition how I feel. Probably probably documenting myself and just kind of recording myself maybe on camera or something and then looking at it and just kind of like subjectively trying to like give myself advice because that way I can kind of like take myself out of the factor and not really focus on a lot of my internal feelings. I will I will rely on some stuff like as far as like if I go to get a pump, I'll like I'll listen to my internal instincts that, that tell me like, "Oh, I got a good pump. I don't got a good pump." And that'll kind of dictate like how I'm feeling overall and if I should carb load a little bit more cuz I want to feel super pumped. That's how I know my carbs are going to be up, but I don't want to spill over either. But like I said in my summer shredding video coming out tomorrow i'm gonna have to push this thing to the boundaries like because i'm definitely not lean enough but there's a slight possibility if i really manipulate everything really draw the water out of my body that i can potentially uh get to a point where uh after i get the spray tan and everything that i might look good enough to maybe even place i don't know uh like i said i'm just not where i need to be but it is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and sign off here guys finish cooking my eggs and hopefully i can like think of something else to like talk to you guys about for this vlog but also one thing else I want to include, I'm trying to keep my sodium levels as low as possible. Generally sodium levels in your body will balance out. I am taking my sodium levels a little bit lower than what they have been. And then I plan on trying to spike them up just a little bit. Not a whole heck of a lot, but I am going to try to apply a little bit more sodium to try to retain a little bit more water for those last couple days. We'll kind of just see how, how everything's going and just play it by ear. So I'll catch y'all in the next scene or something. All right, so use these two hot sauces, by the way, like my new favorite hot sauces and my hot sauce fanatic. And yeah, so I just think they're bomb AF. I got them like out of town at some type of like hot sauce store or something like that. It's like a big warehouse type of building. And uh, another thing that I wanted to include that I didn't really include a second ago is that I'm only consuming a thousand calories for the next three days. And I'm kind of predicting that the last three days, uh, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'll probably be consuming, well, Thursday and Friday, I'll be consuming like 2,000 calories, and I'll be t consuming 2,000 calories roughly, and then, you know, Saturday, I'm going to eat what I want because the competition will be over with, and uh, I'm done with this diet. Well, I'm at least done with the diet for the competition. I'm probably going to end up dieting for like another month or however long it takes for me to get like stage ready. Uh, just so I know how long it's going to take, and that way also I'm as lean as I potentially can be before uh, I go into a bulk, or at least as, as lean as I'm wanting to get. And then I'll just go back into a bulk. That way, whenever I start my bulk out, I'm already really lean. That way I don't get as big bear mode as I did last session because I was freaking huge. I got fat, dude. I was like 160 pounds, and like, it's just a lot of fat, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get up off here, eat these eggs. Cause I'm hungry AF. All I've had is 360 calories and it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, eat these, probably head to the gym, hit a leg session. And then after that, come home, eat me four more eggs. But we'll see, we'll see if anything interesting pops up. Honey, I'm home. No. <laughs> Jason, say hi to the vlog. I'm great with that. I'm going back to bed. You're blowing me up. Uh, I gotta make sure this place is more chaos than that. They do weird stuff like this, though. It's like, it's like, why not make all of this one closet instead of like kind of halfway? Nice. They have a line there, a line there. It, it's like, what else would you do with this room? You know what I mean? This is the dog room. It's slash closet. Yeah, this is ain't supposed to be like a bedroom or something. Yeah. Stop! Stay down! This is the storage room until we, uh, 
get our lives organized. Well, muscles calm down. All right, so let's, let's make it to the, 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 the top four. Oh, sick. Oh my god, I'm on my neck. Sick, dude. Sick. We get a roommate or something. Apparently, if you like move furniture on here, you get like some dust to come out. Uh, there's there's asbestos or something. Asbestos. Oh my, oh my gosh. There's asbestos underneath this flooring. Yeah, it's alright. When you plan on uploading this? I don't know. Probably next year. Okay. They make window units. Oh, well, yeah, I know, but I want the roof raised, too. It would be nice. This yeah. is how my, how my ceiling is in my rental house. Hello. This is our bathroom. Sick. Yeah, it's filling all of our... This, this is where most... House. This is most of... Uh, well, yeah. I didn't think he was going to vlog or anything. Uh, this is where most of the vlog day uh, the video was filmed. What's that, in here? For the hair day. Where at? It was mostly in filmed in there, yeah. You're fucking tall, dude. This is the basement. Um, until I get all my equipment into the second house. This is where all the equipment is. Got a little hair salon in here. That's where you know you. Oh, shh. Yeah. Here. Sick. Um, the whole house has an intercom system, so you can play the radio oh, throughout that's the good. entire interview. I like that. Yeah. Hey, you know what's super sick, though? Is you should be able to connect. Um, yeah. Hey, but no, what I was gonna say even more sicker than that, not Bluetooth, but Google Home. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely Google Home would be more preferable. Hey, what's going on here? Um, oh, I don't. It's probably where the laundry's gonna be done, I guess. Yeah. Um, I have to open me. and close this valve anytime someone wants to use the restroom. Or we do laundry. Or do laundry. Really? Why is that? It's based on the weather. Really. Uh, uh, also, oh, then back into the house. Yeah. yeah. The way that it's connected to the sewer and stuff. So basically, if it's raining really bad, you can't do laundry. Yep. Yeah. Is this supposed to be game room, dog? Yeah. Oh, this is sick, bro. Oh, this is sick AF. Got some right here. Oh, sick. I do hate that the lights for all this stuff is way hey, back here. Hey, if you replace the if you replace the glass right there with clear, with clear dude, yeah. and put some dope ass blue lights or something in there. Oh no 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 no. Got it. Some Google Home lights. Yeah, you can change them whatever color you want, dude. That's, that's, that, that's the dream right there. Nice little bar set up. That's yeah, sick AF, nice bro. Sink here. Oh, bro. Bro. I used to have that. I used to have that, bro. You used to have what? Oh, the Pokemon thing? Yeah. I got, up, uh, got that from the Fall Fest way back. Really? Yeah. I think I might have too. <laughs> I'm surprised I've kept it so long. I, don't, I didn't keep the frame. The frame got destroyed. Yeah, dude, I'd find it hard to not make this the video editing setup, too. You know I mean, what I mean? I would make this in the video editing setup, but right now it technically is. But I had a whole second house. Yeah, no. So, you know. It's just like, man, it's like, so say, for instance, like, if you have people over gaming, you can still do your editing thing or something like that, so kick up friends well, and whatnot. Yeah. Preferably, I'd like to have a second editor on the second computer, like, you have it in your office, though. Sick. Is this the hallway leading to the other house? Yep. This is super sick. Ba, 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 ba. I am doing last night. I don't do it again. Mm -hmm. All right. All right here's so we're the... in the garage of the other house right now. Yep. yep. We're at the garage. There's a big slope. Oh. Oh, is that your car? Yeah. <laughs> you parked like right on the slope thing. This is a big ass garage too, dude. It is. Man, this is a sick little setup, man. Well, I'm jelly. Right. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous. And I need it this out is dope. Of the garage so I can park in there. Why does it backflow up? Yeah, and then I think you just like hit one of the pipes and it, it fixes it or some shit. <laughs> Alright, come on. You guys have to get this out of here. Let's go. Yeah, show us outside, man. Yeah, show us. Show us outside? Yeah, so, yeah, so we, get, we get a perspective of where we're at in life. Eh, eh, eh. You doggy doo, get in here. Come on, dog doodle. Diddle dog. Come on, diddle dog. Yeah, you're going to Come on, dog. Oops, bro. 
before. Well, this feels like such a like a, like a small business, man. Yeah, I thought this would be a lot of where of our filming was done. We got like green screen or something up, you know, knock this place out. This is actually this is actually where all this beauty cam footage is uh, put. And you can record it in DVD or something like you know. Yeah. Something. Um, so can you turn your phone? Yeah. So you should be able to see all the security footage. Is this the only place to access it at this point? Yeah. There you are. There's the back. Oh, there's the other. <laughs> hmm. It'd be nice to be able to get access to that throughout, like, whatever. Yeah. Be able, be able to find a way to stream it to the internet. Oh, there's a little Man, office space that. already, dude. Yeah. Why would this not be the editing setup? Quite possibly. When we go in another hallway. So this is probably, it's probably a better spot. Yeah, it's already got dust there. It dust like throughout the entire place, really though. It was a light switch. I literally just did a vlog of this place. Did you? Yeah. Super sick, man. Nice little workshop. I think if there. I can get some artists in here, then you know, I could probably draw here and you know do some animations or whatnot. Sick. That's my space to it. You know, back to, that's back around to the. We just have a double doors. Back from only for uh, Minley Men. Oh, what? Okay. Still always back from No. Too? No. Yeah, still in the bathroom. That's how they do it. That's what they do with the camera. And they step outside of the house. Oh, that's one of them, yeah. You're done. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, then we got this pulley system for this third floor. You only pulled one. You only pulled one. I know. I literally just did a vlog in here. Okay, well, why are you pulling on both of them? You definitely have to when you close it. It's definitely really humid up here. Okay, you guys can't walk up the steps Holy shit! Yep. Warm. Nice though, bro. Tons of space. Tons of space. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely worth it. I mean, I only paid a dollar for this place, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> and these are the doors I was talking about for the flooring. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is what it is. It's a yeah, work so in progress. You have so much space that you don't even really need a lot of this space right now. It'd be a while, unless you do renters or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I might be able to use one of the other rooms down there for it, but I do... I was kind of thinking the upstairs, Dude, when I finally get around to it, make it like a soundproof room. 100%, if it was up to me, I would rent this place out. Just just so I had... I mean, like, y'all don't have kids and shit. So it's like the other space would be like this. This would be perfect to like just rent it out to somebody, and then you don't have to worry about them. Ooh. Yeah. I don't like that. Don't like what? Oh yeah. All right, guys. So you just seen Trevor's new spot, his new business area, his new casa house. You know what I'm saying in English? But yeah, pretty dope. Got a lot of sick space. Comment below. Tell me what you think of the place and. Uh, if you have any ideas for this this new commercial building that we're going to do collaborations with Malachi and other uh, artists, check it out. His link in the, is in down there in the description down there. But check out check out his YouTube channel, his vlogs where he be vlogging the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Yeah, it's like super meta. So check it out, guys, and uh, check back in with y'all in a bit. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back. Hey. Talking about super meta. Now this is some super meta stuff. So we're back here at the crib, at the casa. Went and hit a gym session. We're editing this vlog as you just seen. I mean, you just seen it right there. But went and hit a leggy poo session, which I almost never do. But we're gonna take legs serious this coming up a year, okay? Plus, trying to just keep the calories as low as possible and get in some extra, 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 uh, some extra workouts will help you know keep those calories lower. So yeah, that's what I had to say, guys. Oh yeah, the other thing is. Uh, instead of eating my four eggs, like I said, I was going to earlier in the vlog, I'm only eating, I ate two eggs, and I ate a bag of shrimp, so, pretty solid, pretty solid, um, kind of switched it up, a little bit lower on the fats probably than what I anticipated, but hey, I'm okay with that, because as long as I'm not consuming many carbs, we're on point. We hit the weight legend hardcore, and we're, uh, we're hitting the grinding out videos hardcore. Yep, 11.06 p.m., baby. <laughs> that YouTuber grind life, so... Yeah, hit that subular button, guys, and catch us in the next vlog. Smash the bell icon. Don't forget yep. that. Yep. 
Yeah, to check out his YouTube channel yes. in the in the down in the descriptions. It's raining down there, dog. Just check it out. Peace.